In the previous lecture, we discussed how we can use corrective lenses to solve the condition of the eye known as nearsightedness or myopia. Now, let's discuss how we can use corrective lenses to solve the condition known as farsightness or hyperopia. Now, a person with farsightness or hyperopia can essentially see objects that are very far away and he can see those objects clearly but they cannot see objects that are found very close to the eye clearly. Now in such an eye the rays of light entering the cornea and the lens essentially bend but they bend very slightly and those rays of light converge at a point that is found behind the retina. Now because the image is not formed at the retina but is formed at the following location that basically means the object found very close to the eye will appear blurry. So once again in such an eye with hyperopia the rays of light are bent only slightly and converge at a point behind the retina. Since the image is not formed on the retina the object will appear blurry. Now we can essentially use Use a convex corrective lens to solve this condition temporarily. So to correct this condition, a convex corrective lens is placed in front of the cornea of the eye. This converges the ray even further, so it increases the amount of convergence of the light, forcing our rays of light to converge on the retina of the eye and that makes the image clear. So let's look at the following diagram. So we have the eye that has hyperopia. We have the lens of the eye and this is the cornea of the eye. Now this is our convex or converging corrective lens that is placed in front of the cornea. Now when the rays of light leaving our nearby object leave the object and reach this lens, they essentially begin to converge. Now those converged uh, rays of light then reach the cornea and are converged even more. And this essentially brings this point of convergence from this location to the retina of the eye. So the image of the object is formed directly on the retina of the eye and the object will therefore appear clear. Now, what exactly is the relationship between farsightness and the near point of the eye that has farsightness? So, recall that the near point of the eye is the closest distance an object can be seen clearly. Now, for a good or normal eye, the near point is about 25 centimeters. However, in a person with farsightness, what happens is the near point increases. Now, for example, when a person ages, what happens is their near point increases, so eventually a person can get farsightness. So, what exactly happens when we place a convex corrective lens next to our eye in terms of the near point? So, what happens is a convex corrective lens forms a virtual image of the object exactly at the near point of the eye. And this virtual image formed by the convex corrective lens is then treated as if it was the object by the eye and the cornea lens system forms the final image exactly on the retina of the eye and that's exactly why a person who has hyperopia farsightness wearing a convex pair of glasses will see objects nearby very clearly. So let's see exactly what we mean by looking at the following diagram. So we have the principal axis, we have the eye that has farsightness, the lens, and the cornea. And 
we place our convex or converging uh, corrective lens in front of the cornea. Let's suppose we want to read a book that is found very close to the eye as shown in the following diagram. So this is our object that is found some close distance relative to the eye. So what exactly happens? So the rays of light essentially leave the object and reach this converging or convex lens. And then what this lens does is it forms a virtual image in front of the object as shown by the following diagram. So this is our virtual upright magnified image. And this image is formed directly on the near point of the eye. And now the cornea lens system of the eye takes this virtual image and treats the virtual image as if it was the actual object and forms the final image of this object on the retina of the eye so that the image appears clearly. And so the person, by the way of corrective lenses, can essentially see objects that are close by even though that person has hyperopia or farsightness.